Hi everyone, this is Beth and I'm the YouTuber that was off for four to five months. I'm not sure exactly how long, but it was a while. And I did my last video last week on a Friday afternoon. And thank you so much. So many of you came to watch my video and I thought maybe you would have forgotten about me, but obviously you didn't. And it is just heartwarming to me. And I read all of your comments and responded to your comments. I figured out a good way to be able to respond to your comments more quickly and easily, which I'll tell you about in my habits video, which is coming up in another week. And I'll be posting it next Saturday. And it is, I think, going to be a wonderful video because as I mentioned in my last video, in my time off, I've been doing a lot of reading and a lot of studying about how to cure some of the problems that I had in my first half. And one of them I have come to realize is a string of not very strong habits. And when you think about it, everything in our life is really determined by the habits, the things that we do on a daily basis. And if you can improve your habits, it is pretty easy to do if you know some of the tips and techniques that these books will give you. And it can really produce great payoffs in your life for the next 10, 20 years, something like that. So I truly think next week's video is going to be fabulous. And don't ask me what those habits books are because I don't want to tell you this week, but the reason I don't want to tell you is that they are on Audible. I remembered the name. I kept wanting to call it parable, but it is audible. There's a way for you to get at least one of those books free, if not both of those books free, and they are audiobooks. And I have found that through listening to those habits books over and over and over for the last like three weeks, the things in the books have really sunken in and are really making positive changes in my life, as opposed to the way I used to read just books, words on a page, and I was a fast reader, so I would read this book and then this book and then this book or pieces of this book and this book and this book. I really wouldn't comprehend what it was that I was reading, but the Audible books are just, I don't know, they really can help you make positive change in your life. So anyway, that is next week, but I'm going to drink my coffee. And if you like coffee, I'm going to tell you about this particular coffee because I'm trying to do more lifestyle stuff. And to me, coffee is a great part of our lifestyle, coffee and or tea, if you like tea. And I have started drinking green tea at work and there's a great one that I'll tell you about later. But this is the Donut Shop Coffee in the Keurig and it is coconut mocha. And this is my absolute favorite flavor of coffee. It tastes like, you know when you were a kid and your dad would get a screwdriver and a hammer and crack open a coconut? My dad would do that sometimes when we would go to Florida. And you would, you know, he would get rid of that coconut milk and you would take that first bite of that coconut and it would just be crunchy and fresh tasting. That to me is exactly what this coffee reminds me of is that fresh taste of real coconut. And then it has mocha, which I wasn't sure if mocha was coffee or chocolate flavoring, but I look at it here and there are little chocolates on here. So it is a coconut chocolate coffee and I absolutely love it. It is truly one of my favorites and I'll put the link below and have another swig. Okay, now I am doing an empties video this week and I think empties videos are super useful because in an empties video, you don't just hear what the YouTuber has been using for the last week or a couple of days or was sent in the mail for free. Um, you actually see what the YouTuber uses every day on a day-to-day -day basis in their real life and you know that because you're seeing the empties. So you know they've at least gone through one bottle of whatever it is they're trying to show you. So I'm going to get into my empties, but before I do that, I do want to tell you about a wonderful hair tool that I discovered. Actually, it was sent to me by the Irresistible Me Company. And for those of you who've been to my channel for a long time, you probably know that when I started out my channel and for maybe the first year and a half, I used those, irri uh, those Irresistible Me hair extensions. And I really love them because it really made my thin blonde hair look thick. And I did love it, but my husband kind of stopped loving them. Uh, he didn't like them, actually. And he said, sometimes I can see them in the wind. And he says, that just looks ridiculous. So anyway, this is my real hair now, which I've been using for about the past year, using my real hair. It's kind of interesting. But anyway, this is the straightener that I used to use. And in fact, I love this one. And I did a video about it, bought this myself. But this is the Remington 2-inch flat iron. And if you're on a budget, this one is on Amazon, I'll link it below. 
and I think it's maybe about $40. And it is a very, very good flat iron, especially if you don't have kinky, curly waves. Now, the Irresistible Me people sent me this one, and it is a high-end flat iron, and it is only a one inch. And I told them, I said, you know, you can send it to me, and if I like it, I will tell people I like it, but if I don't, I probably just won't even put it on the air, because since you're being nice enough to send it to me, if I don't like it, I probably won't tell my viewers about it, but I absolutely loved this flat iron. And I'll show you why, and here's a picture of me in the back, and it is a Friday, so I probably didn't get, get everything too straight, but my hair in the back is not as straight as it is in the front. I have these kinky curly waves, and here you can see a before and an after picture of using this Irresistible Me flat iron and how much it flattens out that kinky curliness that I always have in the back of my hair. So this is super easy to use. It has variable heat settings. Absolutely love this. It is actually on sale for 50% off right now. I think it was like $185 regularly and it's just under $100. And if you have kinky curly hair, maybe not even just in the back, but if you have very curly hair all over and you really want to flatten it out, this little guy got 4.9 stars out of five on that website. People were raving about it in the reviews. And I have to admit, I have never had a, a flat iron which has worked as effectively as this Irresistible Me. And I think it's called the Black Diamond. Yes, it's got a little black diamond on it. It's upside down there. Sorry about that. But it is a very, very, very good flat iron if you're looking for something good. Okay, let's get into my makeup empties. And I will say, having not been on YouTube for a long, long time, I have probably five times, six times as many empties as I'm going to be showing you today. But in the interest of keeping this video short, I just, I'm going to do a certain amount of them now and I'll save some for next video. And I will say at the end of this video, I'm going to be sharing with you two great TV shows that I found. Some of you may not be interested in that though, so I'll put it at the end of the video. But you know, I feel in terms of thinking about our lifestyle, Entertainment is part of it, and if we can just watch those shows, which are really good ones, that's a positive, worthwhile thing. Okay, let's get into this. Okay, my first empty is this Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup, and I love this stuff. And I have used it for absolutely, well, maybe two years, and I use it in the color 40 Nude. And to me, it just looks absolutely you know, very, very close to real skin. Obviously, it doesn't look just like real skin because quite honestly, that would be ugly because my pores would show, my redness would show, my uh, discoloration up here would show, but this covers everything up. You know, it doesn't settle into fine lines and wrinkles as they say, but I really, really do love this Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup. It is my go-to favorite of any price. Now, I will tell you that I got sent this Becca foundation and every now and then I try a heavy coverage foundation and that healthy skin is a medium, which as we get older ladies, we really can't wear the full coverage foundations very well at all. At least I sure can't. This is the Becca Ultimate Coverage 24 hour foundation. And it does wear like iron because to me it seemed very greasy. I tried this for just a day. I could not bear to wear it the second day. It was heavy, it was pasty. Every single line on my face looked worse. I probably look 10 to 15 years older using this. I looked like a little old lady who was trying too hard and could no longer see very well to see what she really looked like. So I would not really recommend this one. Okay, the next empty that I have is this Milani Conceal and Perfect. Absolutely love this. I used to use the Tarte Shape Tape, which was very expensive. And I started using this Milani maybe about nine months ago. And this is probably the fourth or fifth of these that I have had. And I just use it under my eyes, around the dark spots here, around my nose. I have broken capillaries right there. And then I have kind of a funky divot in my chin, which I've always had. And so it kind of helps bring that out a little bit. I just put a little of this on. It has a little brush applicator with it, just like that. And it's not as large as the doe foot, which is on the Tarte Shape Tape. So I really do like this one much better because you don't waste the product. And then I go over it with a little uh, brush just to kind of even it out. But I absolutely love this. 
it wears like iron. It wears all day. It covers anything you want it to cover. And I think it's about $9 at Ulta, and I'll put the link below. Now, the next couple of makeup items I have are more high-end. Unfortunately, and this is one of the reasons that I stopped YouTube, is I went through this crazy Charlotte Tilbury phase where I started getting into this idea that I had a makeup, quote, collection. And you hear YouTubers say that all the time. Oh, it's part of my makeup collection. And at first I thought that was pretty stupid. And then I thought, oh, I'm improving my makeup collection. And so anyway, I ended up buying maybe about $1,200 of Charlotte Tilbury to add to my makeup collection. And number one, that's a stupid, that's a stupid idea because, I mean, it would be like saying, in my refrigerator, I have a pork chop collection or I have a, well, an egg collection, you know, a milk collection. You know, this is a perishable item over time and this is just stupid to think we need things for our collection. We really just need enough of these makeup products to last for as long as they last, which powders last a little longer, but still, that's a silly idea. <laughs> I really diverged there. But anyway, this is the end of that, and I absolutely do love this powder. And this is my third purchase of this. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Micro Powder in two medium. And I'm kind of light skinned, but for some reason, I think the medium always works the best for me. Love that. And another Charlotte Tilbury product that I love, and I'm so sad I am over this one because this is my favorite Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow quad of all of them. And I probably have about nine or 10 of them. I have most all of them. But this is my absolute favorite one. And I did not repurchase this because I have another one called the Uptown Girl that I'm using now and I have the Uptown Girl on my eyes. And actually, all of the makeup that I have on my face, I have links below the video so you can see what I'm wearing. And this makeup that is in this video is pretty much what I like to wear on a daily basis and have been for several months now, and I really do like this makeup. Although, instead of the eyeshadow that I have on now, because of my coloring, I really like this Golden Girl. And as you can see, these are eyeshadow quads. They go on absolutely beautifully. They give you just a little bit of a glow, and if you're not into shiny, shiny, iridescent eyeshadows, you may not like this because while these are extreme, flashy, glittery eyeshadows, they do have a little bit of extra glisten, I would say. And so they have this shade here that is for your lid and for under your brow, and this is the definer shade, which is for the crease. This is if you wanna give a little extra zing to your eye lid there, and sometimes I use that at night. And this is another darker version, which I do have under my, my eyes in the other palette. But this Golden Girl palette, if you're starting with any of the palettes, I really think the Golden Girl is a good one to go with. Now my next two products are less expensive, but I absolutely love them, and all of these are empties. This is the CoLab Eyeliner Pencil in Killer Coal, it's called and it is in the color Knockout, which is a dark brown. And the thing I really like about this eyeliner pencil is that it is self-sharpening, and I'm really finding that's worth it to pay a little bit more for. And I think this one is $10, and it seems to last a long time. It's not that unreasonable at all. You get these CoLab products at Sally's Beauty. You can't see the tip because it's, of course, an empty, but the tip comes out, it's beautifully pointed on the end, but it's not one of those tips that breaks off. It's just a beautiful, subtle little point and it goes on just wonderfully. Really, really do love this CoLab eyeliner. And I also love the CoLab The Works Mascara. And this is one that over the past months when I've got all of this stuff to shop from, to shop from my stash, I did go out and get another CoLab mascara from Sally's Beauty. Here it is. It's called The Works All-in-One Mascara, and it is in black. And there is the good little brush there. Just a very nice brush that separates your eyelashes and really elongates them, lengthens them. Really, this comes very close to looking like eyelash extensions. And in fact, I went to have a facial, which I never do that, but my son and his wife for Christmas bought me and my husband both facials and massages. And we went over the weekend. It was just like heavenly. It was wonderful. Um, but both the facial lady and the massage lady said, how did you get your long eyelashes? They're beautiful. And, and actually, come to think about it, I didn't have any makeup on, so I did not have this mascara on. 
but I'll tell you in a minute what made my longer eyelashes, although I am changing that too, and I'll show you that um, in a future video. Okay, the next two empties are lengtheners for your brows and one for your eyelashes, and I've actually done a video about this one before because I was so blown away by it. This is the Essie Naturals Eyelash Serum, and you just put this on every night. It has a little eyeliner type brush, and you just take one drop over that lash, one drop over this lash, love it. But it is like $29, so it's expensive, and this is very non-allergenic. It did not hurt my eyes at all. They say it's all natural ingredients, and within two weeks, they say you'll notice a difference, and I did. This stuff was incredible. But I used it three times, and on the third bottle of it, it just didn't seem to be working as well as the first two bottles had. I have a challenge on this eyelash in that my middle lashes can sometimes just not be there, and so you can't mascara them if you don't have them there. But I really noticed that on the third use of this, it didn't work as well. And I'm now using something else, which I really like, and it's only $10 from Amazon, and it's an eyelash growth serum. Actually, it has an AM bottle that is white and a PM bottle that is black, all for $10. And I'm testing that, but so far, I think the results are phenomenal, and I will post that information in a future video. But I did like this Essie Naturals, and if you're not using anything, I think you would love this. And then this is the brow serum I was using called Rapid Brow. And quite honestly, when I was on for those five or six months, I stopped using this because I kind of stopped doing everything beauty related pretty much. I mean, I just was kind of OD'd on the whole beauty thing. And so I stopped using this and then I noticed that the tails of my brow, I did draw them on. So these are kind of drawn on, but my tails went away after I stopped using this. So you do have to keep using it. But basically you just take this and you just put it on your eyebrows Oh, my phone just went off. My husband is coming home into the garage. It is Friday afternoon here, and he doesn't work in the afternoon either, so that's wonderful. But anyway, I do highly recommend this, and I will be repurchasing this. Okay, now I've got a couple of skincare items that are empties. This is the CeraVe AM Facial Moisturizing Lotion. It has an SPF of 30, and it has ceramides in it. It says, with three essential ceramides, niacinamide and hyaluronic acid, and those are all things that improve the acid mantle of your skin, that make your skin kind of younger and dewier. Um, they're really, really very, very good ingredients, and I've used this product and also the PM CeraVe lotion for probably two years, along with the Retin-A that I use, and I love this stuff, and I've definitely been repurchasing this. And this is a mask, and I didn't use this for the longest time because as I mentioned, when I was off YouTube, I kind of got out of doing the little beauty things a lot. But recently I started using it again, and every Friday I wash my hair and I also do this mask, and I love this mask. I have done a video earlier about this mask because it is the only mask I've ever found where you can really see a difference after you use it, and it's not expensive. Actually, it is expensive if you buy just one because I think it's like $5.95 for just one, and you can buy them singly, but I'm going to try to find them again on Amazon. I think there's a package of 12 or 15 or something, and it's very reasonable, and I'll put a link to, to the multi-pack below. This is called the Aveeno Clear Complexion Purely Matte Peel-Off Mask. It says it exfoliates and mattifies, and there it is, and basically you put it on, it goes on clear, maybe a little bit blue, you let it dry for 15, 20 minutes, and then you start pulling it off, and it pulls off with it your kind of dead skin cells, and I really think that it just makes your skin look more radiant, more even. Absolutely love this mask. Okay, now these next three empties are hair empties, and I am so frustrated because I have these, and I love these. These are all three hair thickening products from Mark Anthony. I got them from Amazon. Whoops. I got them from Amazon and they're not very expensive, but I did not repurchase these, at least for now, because I had these two big bottles in my stash, I guess. I hate that word stash. I had these two big bottles of Kenra Volumizing Shampoo that I bought on sale at Ulta. They're the big, huge liter ones. And so I decided that I should be using those instead of this. So. I thought, well, maybe it won't be a big difference. Well, unfortunately, I've noticed it is a big difference. The Kenra, even though it was more expensive than these, 
It does not volumize my hair like these do, and I just like these a lot better. And if you need thicker hair, you want to see your hair just boof up a little bit, I highly recommend these. And actually, in my empties, I probably have six or seven empty bottles of this stuff over the months because I kept buying it. I love it. And I may have to break down and buy these because I really want my hair to look nice. Again, this is the Mark Anthony Instantly Thick Volume Collection, and it's sulfate-free. All of the products are sulfate-free. This is the shampoo and the conditioner. Love those. And then here's a thickening cream in the same line that is called the Hair Thickening Cream. Surprise, surprise. And I just take this on my towel-dried hair and just put a little of this lotion in my palm, scruffle it together, and I put it from about here down and then just a little bit on the top because I do need more volume on the top. Okay, I would highly recommend those, and I think I'm gonna break down and rebuy those because I do love those products. Now, this is another product that I have used on my hair actually for literally years, since way before I came onto YouTube. This is the John Frieda Frizz Ease Three Day Straight with Keratin Flat Iron Spray. This is a fantastic product if you want to flat iron your hair and make it smooth and sleek. And my hair is so overly processed that it really doesn't get smooth and sleek, but at least it does get straight and this really helps it get straighter. And I think it keeps my hair in better condition than it would be if I didn't use it. And the cool thing is I use this one day and then go to bed, you know, my hair goes everywhere and I wake up the next morning and my hair is still pretty smooth and I barely have to touch it with a flat iron at all, if at all. So this is a fantastic product, and of course this is empty. And, and the next one I have was almost empty, and it was so happy because I went to my cabinet and I found that I have another one of these. So I don't have to buy this real soon, but I will never quit buying those. Okay, the last product that I have is the Kenra Platinum Dry Texture Spray Number 6, and I just used this before the video. And basically what this product does, it texturizes your hair. <laughs> You know, we never knew that we needed texturized hair before all of these products, but it really does help. I'll show you how it works. You just take this, and this is actually an empty. I wonder if there's anything left. There's not much left, just a tiny bit. And you let it dry, and then you sort of either brush it through or just kind of finger it through. Actually, this is the one that I used before the video. This is my empty, but I really, really do like this Kenra Dry Textured Spray. And I don't use it every day, but on those especially flat hair days, maybe on the second or third day after I've shampooed, I can use this and it just gives me that much more volume. Okay, well, that was a lot of empties, but it is nowhere near the number of empties that I really have, but at least it'll get us started on that. Another swig of coffee here. Okay, now if you're interested in good TV shows, then I will tell you two that I found that I absolutely love and I highly recommend. If, if you're not, then I will see you next time and thank you for dropping by. And there are two TV shows. The first one is a documentary about Taylor Swift. And I'm that much older and I know of Taylor Swift, of course, but I really didn't specifically know her music. You know, I think she's darling, but I'm not that much into the specific music people and knowing what songs they do and all that. My husband knows everything to do with music and I really don't as much. But I was bored one evening and I turned on Netflix and it was newly released within the past maybe three weeks. And it is a documentary about Taylor Swift called Miss Americana. And oh my, I super, super, super enjoyed that. And even if you're not into country music or Taylor Swift, I would highly recommend that because I know I always look at these people that are, you know, famous singers. And of course, we would all love to be able to sing and wow an audience the way they do. I think that's everybody's dream. But their lives just look so perfect from the outside. And I'm real guilty of thinking that about actors and models and uh, music people that, you know, they must be so happy all the time. They're just walking around on a cloud. Well, seeing this documentary, it was so nice because she was very open about the fact that her life still has challenges. And I, and I won't go into this in huge detail, but basically, you know, you get to see her over the past, really, the documentary is about her whole life. You know, she started at five or six, and then at 12, she was singing, you know, some local dates, and then I think 16 or 17, she was signed by a record label. So it just looks like this effortless climb to stardom. But it was interesting because part of the documentary, you see her, 
sitting there with her hair back in a ponytail with no makeup on and she's at home and she gets a call from a manager who says that she has won a certain award and she says, oh, that's great. And she said, you know, I feel like I should have someone to share this with. And I just kind of thought, oh my, you know, she is like millions of people love her and yet she didn't have anybody to call. And it just kind of reminded me that loneliness, a little bit of loneliness is the plight of, of everyone out there, including someone like Taylor Swift. And it just well, it made me like her even more. And it also just made me think, you know, life can be difficult for all of us. So anyway, okay, that's a good one. Miss Americana, I would totally recommend that. That's on Netflix. And the second one is a Netflix series. Wait, is it Netflix? No, it's Prime. It's Amazon Prime. And it's a series called The Stranger. The Stranger. And basically what it's about, it's situated over in England. And so all of the characters have that neat English accent, which I always kind of like that. And it is this happy family. At least they think they're happy until the husband gets approached by a stranger who's this young, attractive, dark-haired girl in a baseball cap who is uncovering secrets about this whole family. And she tells him a secret. And uh, basically, all hell breaks loose. The wife leaves. There's a big mystery about where did the wife go. And this stranger approaches other members of the family and unearths more secrets. And I think it's six or seven episodes, eight episodes, but last weekend we binged watched it the whole weekend and it was so good. So I really highly recommend that. Okay, well, thank you for being to video number two. Um, I feel like I've started my channel again. It's really weird having been off so long. Okay, I am going to read just one little card here and I'll try to make it fast. I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave the cards in because they add extra time. Let me know below if you like them or don't like them. It won't hurt my feelings. Oh, this is good. This, this really applies to me. In the midst of a meltdown, I breathe through the discomfort and come out the other side. In the midst of a meltdown, I breathe through the discomfort and come out the other side. Well, this is pretty self-explanatory. Um, basically, whenever you're about to melt down, things are going crazy, just stop and take a deep breath and let it out and just relax. And I love this card. I've been meditating, which is just basically following your breath. And that's really helpful. When you come to a crisis situation, just settle down and take a few deep breaths and relax. Well, friends, I'm really excited that you showed up for my video and I look forward to seeing you in my next one.